issue. What about $85 billion a month being given to foreign banks to prop up their derivatives? What about how they get interest at zero or negative and then we get it at 10, 15, 20 percent? That's the real discrimination and the fake left uses all these race issues and things to distract and gay marriage stuff distract from the real raping that's going on and he's a former federal uh, financial crimes investigator and that's how he got hired by ABC News, BBC, you name it. And he hosts the British Nightline show, uh, Newsnight over there, one of the top shows. And of course, you're no stranger to this show, GregPalace.com. He's also a best-selling author. And he made documentaries about Hugo Chavez. He knew Hugo Chavez, agreed with him on some things, didn't on others. I want to talk some today about uh, the transformation of Chavez and why I don't like it. Again, I don't like Assad in Syria either, but I don't want to send Al-Qaeda in there to overthrow him. That's a hundred times worse. See, our government's doing that. I get the people that run our government are really bad. My, my issue, I don't think in like two-dimensional, well, if the globalists are bad, then, uh, then Chavez is good. Okay, so, but we're going to talk about all that with him. But first, I want to get into the latest on Cyprus, because if anybody's got their snout, their feelers, their, their, their spies in a good way in the financial system, and it breaks, I'm not kissing his butt. I'm, I'm building it up so you know, you really need to listen to this guy. Because Greg Palast, I got to say, it breaks more big news internationally than anybody else. Real financial bombshell stuff. So he made the documentary Hugo Chavez versus the network. So I want to get another perspective on Chavez uh, here today. But but first we'll get into the latest on the Cypriot Cyprus stuff expanding, where all that's going. I want to talk some about the Koch brothers too, because it's just always Koch brothers. Koch brothers is kind of a left wing conspiracy theory, but there is something there because they are taking over all the right wing and libertarian groups. What's happening there? But what's the fight then in the power structure with these guys? Greg Palast, what do you know about the military domestic buildup? Are you concerned about it? And if so, what do you believe it's for? Well, I have to be concerned because if you remember, Alex, Homeland Security charged me with crimes under the Patriot Act while I was reporting for BBC television. My crime was to take photos of the um, Exxon refinery in Baton Rouge, which is right near the refugee camps the people that were, you know, uh, sent out of New Orleans. And uh, so I was charged, I, you know, it was like Russia. Apparently now you can't take uh, photos of what's called a vulnerable infrastructure. Now what they- Yeah, that's under na national security, infrastructure protection, that's InfraGuard. And they tell everybody that works at dams, factories, anywhere, that anyone doing anything's a terrorist and you're a secret agent. And that was in the news, ABC News reporter, charged with terrorism but america kind of got its conscience back what was that four or five years ago and said okay drop the charges but that shows what they want to do right well they were very embarrassed that i so they so what happens homeland security charged me but it was they told me in fact it was a complaint made by exxon petroleum and the reason is exxon did not want and the government didn't want to show that they were basically what i was taking pictures of was the illegal sky dumping and filth that was being poured out of that plant, which is going right over the refugee camps that were under those stacks where we dumped these people for two years. And that's what they didn't want. In fact, you could go on Google Earth and you can get the coordinates of every single building, detailed maps and every single coordinate of the buildings at that refinery. That's okay for Google Maps, but from a long distance, photo of chemicals being burned off well which were not supposed to be burned off that's illegal that's what they're going to arrest me for and i got a call from homeland security and said uh, they said you know when they, they first of all by the way the most frightening thing is that they couldn't find me and alex i'm on television they couldn't find me for two weeks so i turned myself in and then they said you know this is really serious we you know a lot of people died on september 11th and i said good why don't you go find them the guys who did who killed the people on september 11th you watch it what, what am i doing here so yes i'm very concerned about homeland security i've been actually it actually it touches upon interestingly hugo chavez because homeland security seems to have a very wide net homeland security hired a uh, company choice point to uh, create massive databases remember they used to call it total information awareness choice point is a company that had for a massive fee helped fix the voter rolls in florida to get george bush elected by manipulation of the voter rolls 
They then got a no-bid contract with Homeland Security to uh, run databases, including creating DNA databases on Americans. Massive. I don't know, because it's a national security contract, I couldn't get the number. But interestingly, while researching this company, um, I also found out that they had been paid to basically steal the voter rolls of Venezuela, Argentina, Brazil, Nicaragua, and Mexico. Now, what does that have to do with our homeland security? Or is it this same company, which had manipulated the elections in the United States, being paid to manipulate the elections abroad? I was very concerned. And then the, the company that is actually running these FEMA camps, by the way, they're supposed to be for uh, illegal, Im uh, Ill illegal immigrants. That's what the story is. Uh, but it came out in the Rex 84 hearings and then even more modern ones. That's the cover. That's how they keep the pump primed uh, with those prisoners. But the, but the real design is for civil unrest. Well, I was very concerned be mainly because of who was involved in this. It's Wackenhut Corporation, which now has, got, has changed its name several times. It went, became Geo. Now it's under a, an Italian uh, um, a cover. Um, what well, used to be called Wackenhut Corporation. They were the main contractors, and Wackenhut uh, is, does private prisons, and it is very mobbed up with doing counterintelligence. Again, I found this in uh, Venezuela, where they I have tape recordings of Wackenhut people. I can't say I really understand everything they're saying, but they keep talking about things like the Third Circle, and this kind of uh, some type of espionage operation. I don't know if it was an attempt to assassinate the president of Venezuela or something else, but you get Wackenhut, Choice, point homeland security together the combination is really not very pleasant very dangerous I'm Darren McBreen, and these are some of the new items that are available now at InfoWarsShop.com. Alert the public to Obama's blatant abuse of power with the new Obama t-shirt, Obama's joker face on the front, and come and take it on the back. It's time to publicly call him out for what he is, a tyrant. Defend the Second Amendment with our top seller, Come and Take It t-shirts. And look at that, women's cut tank tops and t-shirts now available. Nice hat. Plus, the Don't Tread on Me flag. And now, you can become a micro-distributor of the InfoWars magazine. Plus, get your... I go hot to my team. What the fuck do you mean? It's Rob Ford. He came with a green beam. Any nigga with a beam from the street. He don't know me, dude. Are we talking to me, shit? Are we blowing to me, shit? They don't burn fat. Them niggas, now they ask at the ride like they ass can't drive. Shit, shit, shit. I'm on the street, bro. The way I come from, you can't drive. The people are out of blow cold. Out here in the street,
the government taking the money. The government doesn't get the money. What they're doing is they're trying to get, they're sucking the money out of the bank account and literally giving it back to those same bank owners to pay off the bank bondholders, the speculators in the bank. In fact, the original European uh, plan that was secretly cut. Uh, Down, yeah. down, 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 and it was called, uh, what was the name of that? Hey guys, there's a copy of my book around here. It's out of print, digital copies on PrisonPlanet.tv for members. Uh, it, uh, in my book, The Sent to Tyranny, uh, I forget the headline, but, but, but it broke down how they go and take your bank accounts and how they take over. And, and how they were then doing the left in Europe because you got the documents to punch it back up. Uh, punch it story back up, guys. I'm going to read this to you guys. Uh, uh, Italy, uh, the, the, uh, the head of the EU central bank's proposing it. I mean, they're getting ready to just take everybody's money and give it to, to private people. This is amazing, Greg. And not just any people. The number one beneficiary is a guy named Paul Singh. He runs uh, a, what's called a vulture fund. He's uber rich. He bought up a bunch of Greek companies and that's nothing about the 20 cents on the, on the dollar value. And then he asked for 200% of their so the guy's looking at something like 2,000 percent profit, and he says, and why does he get the money? Because he also he's got 32 shots in the bar, throwing shots out of the top, catch a loaf and he a drop, in traffic lean and smoke a job, got 33 shots in his bar, 33 shots in his bar, pull up on him with the mop, them vultures come aiming for top, your ass better run up to stop, don't do this thing, this for bitch, Well, no, I mean, you can take everybody you know, widows and janitor's bank accounts and give it to him as long as he likes gay people. That's right, as long as his son is allowed to marry a boy, that's okay, and, and he's all for it. Well, I mean, yeah, no, they're getting us to obsess over, you know, like, we better pay for people to have sex changes instead of, hey, can we not give 85 billion a month to private banks? Right, so it's well, circus, got me tired. red circus, so you know, I got balls. attacked. I whip an under, I get money first. Yeah, 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 you see the third. Here's the thing, Alex Jones, I'm going to go to some scanty program. I'm going to go to some scanty program. I'm going to go to some scanty program. And yet, um, what do you think Rachel Maddow is going to be talking about? It's all the same. Hey, Mary, but we're not. Let's come back and give you the floor on the banking crisis. Where do you see it going and how to stop it? One stands out because it is just so chillingly convincing. And that's Dreams from My Real Father by Joel Gilbert, available at InfoWars.com. This film exposes the fraud that Obama is like nothing I've seen. If you want to know who Obama's real daddy is, this is the film for you. Don't forget, your purchase supports our broadcast and our growing media network. You'll also find at InfoWarsShop.com, Non Dare Call a Conspiracy by Gary Allen, a book that woke me up. We're also carrying Behind the Green Mask, UN Agenda 21 by Rosa Corey. This book is coffin nails to the globalist takeover. The Greater Good, the most professional and up-to-date film I've ever seen exposing the scourge that is vaccines. These titles and a lot more are all available at InfoWarsShop.com. We gon' pop them, nigga. It's the mafia. Can't stop us, nigga. To these bitches, I'm in Mo B. To these niggas, I'm in Mo B. I'm from the pole, nigga. Oh, With seven up to the most, nigga. Red Palace he is our guest, ladies and gentlemen. I speak up in your crib, too, fair, and way to snooze. Put money on your head, 
We're going to go back to him here in just a second and finish up with what's happening on the financial front. It couldn't be bigger, but we've known it's coming for so long. And in a way, we're conditioned ourselves. It's like, yeah, they know aspartame gives you type 2 diabetes. That's why they put it in there to kill us. Oh, here's the document. Yeah, Monsanto, the pesticides that grow in their food, uh, pharmacological crops. Yeah, it causes organ failure in all mammals that eat it. Yeah, they got a lot of protection now. Yeah, yeah, well, their bacteria don't serve it. No, no, they're eugenicists. Hey, uh, but I'm an extremist because I don't like that. Uh, and we're just all in this together, and they got us busy. I mean, you turn on MSNBC. It's like the Ku Klux Klan channel. But it's from a liberal perspective, just race, everything, race. I'm so sick of it. I'm so tired of it. Just shut up! I wasn't raised like that. Nobody I know is. I'm sick of it. They just want everybody at each other's throats while they're robbing. That's all a giant hoax. Welcome to Planet Hoax. The new issue of the magazine is out. You can get subscriptions, the next 12 issues. In fact, we have supplies of... Uh, a few of the back issues, most of them sold out. We have a bulk that we sell, groups of 10 up to 100. We'll wake people up, big, colored, glossy magazine full of key information. Uh, people are going out of print, we go into print. We've dominated on the web in, in alternative real media, now we're going to dominate here, and it's very successful. But we'll have some of the March and some of another issue for people that subscribe, so we'll really get 13 issues for 13 colonies. Uh, for the next thousand people that subscribe or again you can buy them in bulk at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 you can even get a little newsstand uh that says infowars.com at cost because this is an at cost it's not bad to make money to fund liberty obviously win 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 that's how we do this but this is something that's that's at at cost you know I mean, on newsstands, this would be five can't trust that bike, can't love it, It's like the old Rolling Stone, big, broad sheet. I'm going to be the one that's going to kill everybody. I'm going to pop out the cut. I'm going to land you up. I'm going to shoot the whole party. Right on up. She got on up. I'm going to shoot his whole body. Can't hang where I'm from. Yeah, we ain't where I'm from. We can call it the suit. We can't go from. She can't go out in the daytime. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that you need to get that magazine to wake people up. Welcome to Planet Hoax and the War on Reality. The globalists are all in to overthrow our liberty. We have to get all in to awaken America to the, or, uh, to the organic resistance that can bring down the synthetic, fake left tyranny of the new world order. Okay, now, now, you're going to call you for saying compliment. Yeah, I like that fine joke. No, no, it's not. Seriously, get back to what you were saying about what's happening in the economy, the distraction you're in. Then let's check way into your films on Chavez, because if he's dead, it's a big debate. What was your real take on it? I get it. We're getting 85 billion senior in people, uh, and they're, they control tens of millions and, and or have that and leverage trillions. He took it from those types of people and gave it to the poor people, so they say he's a hero. But I just call that another form of tyranny because now the money's running out. And Venezuela's falling apart, but you'd probably say that's essential. I'm going to shut up, Rick Pallas. we got about 12 minutes before we go to break again. you got the floor on what's happening in Europe, what's happening here, who's uh, uh, making money off of it, Chavez, and then I want to get into the Koch brothers. Go ahead, Greg Pallas. All right, so quite a bit, but I'll make it quick. First of all, you're not looking at your bank account you're not looking at Monsanto. it once more you're supposed to just look down at your crotch and that's going to determine the political discussion in america and i'm tired of it and i'm glad you're having me on exactly i'm not obsessed with